He was drunk a lot of the time. He was high. We all know that Johnny's ex, Ellen Barkin, destroyed him on the stand. But did you know that Amber Heard paid her to lie in her testimony? Many Johnny fans were shocked when they saw his ex, Ellen Barkin, take the stand and spew lies against Johnny. Everyone knows how loving, caring, and gentle Johnny was towards Ellen throughout their relationship. So what caused Ellen to say in front of the entire world that Deb was controlling, jealous, angry, and demanding, when we all know this is very far from the truth? The answer may lie with Amber Heard, who seemingly plotted a scheme and got Ellen on board by promising financial benefits for her lies. But how deep does this evil scheme go, and how much has Ellen revealed? During the defamation trial, things heated up when Johnny's ex, Ellen, took the stand only to hurl disgusting accusations at him. But now we finally know the motivations behind her questionable actions. So before we tell you why she did what she did, let us walk you through her antics. On the 19th day of Johnny Depp's defamation trial against Amber Heard, the jury heard from Depp's former flame, Ellen Borkin, via a pre-taped deposition during which she detailed one violent incident and in Depp's jealous disposition. Position. Barking and Deb were romantically involved and appeared together in the 1998 adaptation of Hunter S. Thompson's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Barkin testified to one night when the actor threw a wine bottle in the general direction of her and some other people in a hotel room he had rented. She didn't remember who he had the argument with, but possibly with some friends or assistants. She also recalled he had called one of his assistants Pig. Uh, I went to go home, uh, there was a big goodbye, crying, a lot of jealous, and don't, don't do this, don't do that, and I never heard from him again after that. He's just a jealous man, controlling where are you going, who are you going with, what, what did you do last night. I had a scratch on my back once that got him very, very angry because he insisted it came from me having sex with a person who wasn't him. Had Ellen's accusations against Deb stopped there, there would have been some credibility in her words. But the way she continued and the explosive lies she told, the court definitely convinced everyone that she was bought by Amber to help her win the case because no sane person would say the things that she said on the stand. She added that the actor was always drinking and or smoking a joint. Barkin said the incident with the bottle happened while she and Deb were filming the 1998 Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas adapted from the book by Hunter S. Thompson. Mr. Depp threw a wine bottle across the room, the hotel room on one instance in Las Vegas. I don't know why he threw the bottle. From what we now know about Johnny and his personality, it is obvious that these lines were fed to Ellen by Amber's team, who told her what to say against Johnny in order to incriminate him. What makes this evidence even more compelling is that none of the other exes of Johnny's have ever said anything remotely similar about him. It is highly plausible that Ellen, being a failed actress and having achieved nothing significant in life, was looking for a payday and some attention, both of which she got thanks to Amber. So she Social media also seem to question the intentions behind Ellen's statements. This is what people on the internet seem to think. One user tweeted, They are supporting someone who was abused at the hands of Amber Heard. It's the likes of Ellen Barkin, Eve Barlow, Michelle Dolber, and Dr. Charlotte Proudman are the nasty people who are supporting an abuser and liar called Amber Heard. Ellen Barkin is a public danger. She is accused of violence. What a credible witness for Amber Heard. Amber Heard and Ellen Barkin are the same. I always Always said an ISA. Whoever defends Amber Heard is exactly like her. Liar, abuser, violent. I was not wrong. Added another person. The only people Turd was able to bring to testify against Johnny Depp were checks notes. Bark and Ellen, who saw Johnny throw a bottle away from her before I was born. Few paid experts and leeches who created the hoax but never witnessed any abuse. Continued this fan. Said Amber Heard would allow Ellen Barkin to be used this way. Miss Heard pay Miss Barazzi to dig dirt on Mr. Depp going back 30 years. All he found was one failed relationship 29 years ago. Then heard fans lie about what she said. Help Miss Barkins all right, said this user. This person really summed everything up perfectly, writing, IMO, Ellen Barkin used the trial as a PR opportunity and most likely got paid for her testimony. All she really offered was that her relationship with JD was a sexual fling. She's still ordinary and remains an aging bitter has been. Finally, 
Finally, this fan shared. Miss Ellen Barkin, you had nothing relevant to say except to show the world you're a bitter woman who can't let go of the past. Hashtag move on, you've been outed. And hashtag Amber Heard is a liar, you don't keep very good company. Were you paid? Did you volunteer out of spite? Why? If Amber Heard can spend well over $6 million just on her attorneys and have thousands of dollars paid to a private investigator just to dig some dirt on Johnny, then it isn't difficult for her to pay witnesses off to make sure she defeats Johnny Depp in this legal battle. And that is exactly what transpired here. Parkin's deposition came after Heard finished her time on the stand, doubling down on allegations that Depp physically and sexually assaulted her. She also maintained that her obit at the center of the trial was not about Depp and only reflected her personal experience after she became associated with domestic violence. All of these were later proven to be lies as well. I was talking about a bigger issue than Johnny, Heard said, adding that she wanted to show that when powerful men in general do something horrible, there is a system in place to clean up after them. Hurt said she wrote the op-ed in the context of a larger phenomenon amid the hashtag MeToo movement. In Depp's defamation trial against The Sun in the UK, The Sun's lawyer Sasha Was read Barkin's deposition to Depp. In response to Barkin's characterization of him, he said, Barkin wanted a proper relationship with me and I did not want that, claiming she was the one who became angry. Barkin is the only ex of Depp's that has been manipulated into testifying against the actor. Other partners like Vanessa Parody, Kate Moss and Wynonna Ryder have not in an official sense, but that hasn't stopped them from being mentioned during the trial thanks to Heard's manipulation tactics. During the trial, the court heard a pre-taped testimony from Heard's friend, Tillit Wright, who said that Depp told him that he experienced great bouts of jealousy in relationship that had also led to a lot of drinking and a lot of rage activities. He told me that that happened with Wynonna. He told me that that happened with Kate, sorry, with Wynonna Ryder and Kate Moss. He told me that that happened with Vanessa Parody. Since none of these celebrities have ever publicly admitted to Johnny showing any such behavior, this too was a lie, planted intentionally by Amber to move the jury to her side, but this ploy obviously failed because the jury saw right through Amber's tricks and awarded Deb the win against her, showing the whole world who was in the right after all. Had Deb been such a violent person who had abusive tendencies, many of his other ex-partners would have spoken out against him themselves. The fact that they didn't in itself proves his innocence. Ellen was probably not the only person paid to tell lies on behalf of Amber. Inconsistent and nonsensical testimonies from Melanie Iglesias, Whitney Enriquez, Raquel Pennington, Dr. David Spiegel, Dr. Don Hughes, and many others cast doubt on the entire litigation process. If Amber Heard won $7 million from Johnny Depp following her divorce and failed to pay any money to the charities she pledged the money to, then this is probably where she spent it. Whatever the case may be, this mountain of evidence against Ellen does make one wonder whether her testimony was real or paid. What do you think? While you let us know what you think of the entire situation, don't forget to like and subscribe.